Hey y'all, I'm back. And as you can see from the title, this is my four week update. Today is July 12th and that means that I made a month today. So I am one month post out. Girl, let me look at you. Girl, let me look at you. you know you bad, yeah, you know you bad. So, I am um, at the clinic right now, y'all. And I'm about to go in because the last time I was here, which was two weeks ago. Um, two weeks ago today, too. Wednesday, yeah. So, the last time I was here, I got my second drain out. Um, y'all did not see that. But I have been drain free for two weeks. Um both holes been closed it literally took like one to two days for the holes to close my scar looks good it's healing good but i'll show y'all all of that a little bit later um i am here not because it's my one month um appointment but because the last time i was here she told the nurse told me um to come back like a couple of days before my one month appointment so that they can size me for the garment supposedly it's supposed to be the stage one garment but at least they're sizing me so maybe it'll be a little bit different i don't know um depending on what it is what it looks like it's gonna depend on if i actually use it or um if i'm just gonna buy one, uh, a stage two from my massage therapist so um this past week i was in san antonio and the like uh well friday for your yeah, friday i decided to be a little hot girl <laughs> and wear a crop top with a skirt so obviously i did not have my compression on so that was my first time without my compression on in public and it felt so weird i was like holding my stomach the whole time right I was like, mm, it just feels so weird. And like, I would be, I would be holding my stomach and not even paying attention. And like, somebody would be looking at me and then they'll look down in my hand. And I was like, oh, dang, I'm touching my stomach. Let me stop. <laughs> but yeah, so it was pretty weird. Um, but I can say, like, I have been, so like, after, I think the same day, I want to say, no, it was the day after. So the day after I got my second drink out, I had a massage um, and she gave me the wrap that I was telling y'all about. I'll show y'all later when I get back home. I don't have it on right now because y'all know how Mia is and I don't want them saying that. So I just be wearing the garment here. But I have been wearing that. And when I got dressed and so I didn't, I took it off and I was putting my clothes on and y'all just this binder. Um... It's just, it's not enough support. It's so crazy, like, that they want you in this binder for a whole month. Um, So I'm pretty sure, like, for the people or the women that are listening to them about the binder, they probably still don't feel good. I don't know. It's like, it may, if it, I, when I have just the binder on, I feel like I have backtracked, like, progress because it don't feel good. So... Anyway, I'm about to go in, and then when I get back in the car, I'll let y'all know what happened. Now, girl, let me look at you. Girl, let me look at you. Now, you bad, yeah, you know you bad. You a criminal. criminal, criminal. You laughing, told me you would take my heart. I took a little. Ooh, ooh. It ain't like I'm needing it back. You know that you treated the past. You know that I mean it is facts. There's never no need for no questions. See us really living, loving life forever, baby Wouldn't it be crazy if we just Live in love so strong So unconditional Alright y'all, so I am back in the car Um, it really didn't even take that long I don't remember what time I, I went in exactly But it was like 20 minutes maybe Um, I went in and I told y'all I didn't have an appointment, so I just t uh, told the lady at the desk that I came to get sized um, for my garment. 
and um she was like okay somebody come get you in a minute and so then the uh one of the nurses came and um took me back and i actually saw this nurse on um my day five um appointment so that was on a saturday so she remembered me and um she came in she asked me did i want to get completely undressed so that she could get the correct sizes or um did she want like did i want her to measure me like as i am with my clothes on i was like no nah, i get undressed um she's like i want everything to fit how it's supposed to fit or at least as close as it's supposed to fit so she came back in she sized me she said i think 80 I want to say 81 i was 81 i don't know if that's centimeters or oh yeah okay so yeah that's centimeters so i'm 81 in the waist and then i'm one yeah 110 i think she said 110 in the my butt my hips so she was like um she was like she was gonna go check to see which one um that i was supposed to get and she'd be right back and i was like okay so then she brought with her the nurse that uh i i don't know if she directly works with um my doctor but on my um day one post-op appointment when i came back the next day um she was here i had her um with my doctor so she came in and i guess it was she said the first nurse she said she asked her to come in because she has been working there the longest out of all of them and she you know is more familiar with the sizes and what to um what size to get for the paha and everything like that just by looking at the body and she was like oh yeah so her concern was because my waist is so small and my hips my thighs are um big and she was like um you just got it naturally and so she was like um she was trying to tell her like to give me an extra large but i could tell like my the nurse the first nurse she was like she wanted to give me, she so she gave me a large and i was like i didn't first of all i thought that i was getting a stage one it's a stage two and I thought they was going to wait until my one month appointment. But they did it. I got it. <laughs> she gave me the brown color. I would have more wanted black because I guess like you can't really see black. Um, I don't know what it looks like. I haven't opened it up. I'm going to open it up at home. But she told me to put it on. Um, start wearing it today. So I have a massage today. Well, tonight at like 630. So, um... I might wait until after my massage um yeah and then when i get home i'm gonna show y'all how i wear the wrap and everything but yeah i'm excited and it's a stage two i'm excited because first of all i've been wanting to get in a fire high for so long i don't know why i just feel like it would be a lot easier to move around and it's compression and everything like that but two i paid for it so I paid for a stage one with the foam and board. So I guess, I don't know, maybe they don't do that anymore. And um, my doctor is saying like, no, let's keep us in the binder for a month. And then we just go straight to stage two. I don't know. Or she just didn't realize that I'd never had the stage one and just gave me a stage two, whatever. I ain't complaining. She good with me. <laughs> so I got a large um but the the other nurse that came in when she asked her to come in to uh just gauge you know kind of guide her and what size to give me she was telling me that the fajas are good but they don't stretch and she was like that's the only thing she don't like because if they stretch i could have gotten a medium right but they don't stretch in and what i need like in the hips area so that's the problem but we'll see i'll see and then she said um you're gonna get smaller um as the swelling goes down so um i'm probably gonna have to get it taken in anyway which i already kind of knew i um when i first when the nurse came in to measure me 
she looked because I told y'all she she was uh she saw me on day five. She was like, You gotten so much smaller. I was like, Really? I feel like I done got bigger. Like I really do. I don't know. Like I feel like uh, I just I haven't been eating good really at all. I just started back cooking. So I am about to be cooking like you know majority of my foods and eating healthy but i haven't been because i mean i can't stand up for that long well i couldn't but now i feel okay to stand up so i'm start back cooking but i just feel like i like i'm so self-conscious and you know my weight and how i look this has been going on for years now so i just feel like dang did i gain some weight dang do it look like you know this look a little different and i don't know if it looked different in a good way or a bad way so I just been in my head, I guess. But she said I look good, so I don't know. We'll see. And she, when she looked at my stomach, she was like, "Wait a minute, what's going on? Cause you, you nothing was wrong with you, you know, the first time I saw." So I have tape. I don't even think I told y'all that. I have tape. The so last week, last Thursday. I went to my massage and my massage therapist taped. Remember I told y'all she was going to tape my stomach to open up my belly button. So I was telling her that, that it was just taped. My massage therapist taped it, you know, to open up the belly button. And we just belly button training. It's just a little plug. And she was like, okay. Because I was thinking like, nothing was wrong when I saw you the last time. You know, whatever, whatever. So, yeah, I'll show y'all everything when I get back home. So, uh, I've been talking for seven minutes. Y'all know I love to talk. All right. I'll see y'all when I get home. All right, y'all. I am back home, as you can see. So, I am... My hair is a little... I need to take my hair down. But I have nowhere to go, so I'm just going to leave it like this until... I have somewhere to be. It's just no time soon. It's just my roots look a little rough. They a little fuzz, but you know. Anyway... I'm back home. Um, so let me go ahead and show y'all what I'm looking like for week update. So, all right, so I'm gonna set this to the side. All right, so as you can see. Um, as you can see, this is the tape, so it goes to right there, all right, and then this is the belly button, so we belly button turning with the uh binder smushes it sometimes, but um, see, it just comes out real easily. So, this is my belly button now, it looks normal. Um, and I can already tell, I'm going to insert a picture over here and show y'all what it looked like on the first day. Um, I got the tape, but I can already tell that, um, my skin looks different. Um, so, and then I feel like this line right here is like kind of going over. So remember it was flipped over. If I have a picture, I'll put it over here. Remember it was flipped over. Oh, the belly button area so now we're getting it all uh, opened up and this side should just naturally lay over there that's what my massage therapist said so now i'll let you look at the cut so when i was just at the clinic she cut um the uh stitches that were hanging out so they all gone now so i have a smooth area but as you can see these are where the drains were and it's healing pretty good uh because i know for a fact this one looked worse than this so everything's healing pretty good how glad i am or you know whatever but yeah so everything i believe is healing pretty good and this these um it's just this so she gave me these she also gave me some more tape just in case but y'all this hasn't come off at all um here's some extra tape 
um it's just like the little sports tape um so it hasn't come off at all and um tomorrow makes a week so i don't know if she's gonna take it off today or what i'll let y'all know when i leave my appointment um there is a stitch right here but she obviously can't see that i can feel it so um she told me that these are going to start coming out on um, these two right here are gonna come out and just to clip it so i'll probably just clip this one too um i have still been using the arnica gel as you can see it's been used um i just put it on as soon as i get out the shower i blow dry the tape um i clean my face do all that and then um after i put lotion on and everything then i put this on so my massage therapist told me to get vitamin e and d but i didn't see d so i just got e and i've been putting it on top of my scar and that's what helps with the stitches too because if it's moist it'll start loosening up because one of my stitches like over here actually fell off yesterday morning so but other than that yeah so now i'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all how i wrap myself up with that wrap that she uh my massage therapist gave me but this is gonna be my last time using it so i'll probably uh show y'all later on when i get back um what i look like in my baja so i usually just put it you know as tight as i can or not really too tight because um the wrap as you're about to see is going to be tight in itself but as you, this is why i'm tired of this um gun this uh binder so see how it just naturally digs in right there i don't like that and it's just because this this is my hip this is where i go where i start my hip at so it naturally just folds and then as you about to see the um this wrap is going to dig into this side the most so i guess this hip is smaller or this side is smaller the hip is bigger i don't know than this one because this side always digs in first so this is the wrap um and this is how i do it so this part is velcro and then i just start wrapping so you can already see that this side is dented in. But I've been using this, um, like I said, tomorrow would be two weeks, but I don't have to use it anymore. So now I try to go up as much as I can because this part tends to swell too. Um, so I make sure that I get this part and I just look down to make sure that it's all in. You see, is what it is, what it looks like. So, that's how I walk around. And it feels a lot better that I have this on now because that binder, like I said, is not enough. But yeah, so. Um, I just wanted to show y'all how the wrap is, but now, um, I'm about to just chill until my massage appointment and I'll take y'all with me and then just show y'all or I'll probably, um, just take a little video clip of what I look like in my faha. But yeah, so I'll see y'all, um, when I get to my massage therapist all right y'all so one something came up so i was not able to get my massage today i just got out the shower and as you can see i have i'm sweating <laughs> i have managed to get this by her own and when i tell y'all i was rethinking life like dang 
maybe I should have let them gave me the extra large. Because <laughs> the girl is thick. Thick, thick. I am trying. And I have this, um, let me just put y'all down soon. I have a tank top on because I don't want to get a burn. I saw a lot of people uh, talk about that. So what I'm going to try to do is, I guess, I don't know. I'm like, y'all, you know, I'm learning to. I don't know if I should do it. Woo! I don't know which one I'm gonna do. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna do the middle one. I'm getting it up. As you can see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the middle all the way. Maybe I should just do the first one. Okay. Let's go first now. So, like, all the way down here, I did the third one. Just because I could. And then, I did the second one right here and, and here. And now I'm doing the first one as i got to my actual stomach so whew, whew, i don't know all right let's try to do this because baby <sighs> this makes me feel like i am big again <laughs> okay you know how the other one came up loose Okay, okay. Maybe I should take this off, cause. Whew. All right. All right. It wasn't bad at all. Okay, so I got it up. Look, got some imperfections, but it's okay. Oh, I like this a lot better, y'all. This is better. I feel like I'm going to be over here in no time, like on the second one. <sighs> yes. It don't even feel that tight, to be honest. I guess because I am so used to having more compression. I feel like this ain't enough. But I know I can't go over, so I don't know. I guess we'll see how it go. Um... I'm going to let my, y'all can see the back. I want to show y'all all the way at the back because it's kind of see-through. And you can see it right there. So, I can't have my goodies out on, on YouTube. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I got the zipper so that I can use the restroom, which, huh. I got an underwear, so. No, this does not enough compression. Y'all, oh my God. I don't know. I'm going to see. We're going to see in the morning. And we're going to see what my massage therapist say. Because. But it fit really good though. I like it. It fit good. I'm going to go give y'all a mirror view. Alright, so here we go. Okay. So. And I feel like I could actually pull these up a little bit more. Because this is loose at the bottom but this is what are we looking like okay so you can see right there where you go see through but yeah i could definitely see myself just wearing this in house <laughs> yeah so i have been waiting for this for so long and then i guess you can undo this i don't know why you would want to though i guess maybe you could probably like tuck it in if you're going strapless one day, but then again, no, nah, because the back is full. That's what I've been wanting to. I've been wanting that back compression, like, all the way around. Because with the binder, it only goes so far. So, like, right over here, my back rows would hang over. And it's like, I know I don't look like that because when they cinched in my sides over here um, and pulled it down, like, I lost a lot of back fat or extra skin. Who knows what it really was. But, yeah, so... Um, I'm happy that I got all of this in now, so you can't really tell. But yeah, I like it. It feels good. Um, I feel 
I don't know. I don't feel more compression. I'm going to say that. I guess with that wrap, I have had it tighter, but it feels more flexible. Like I have more room, more freedom. That's what it is. <laughs> and I like it. I like it. I like it. I wish they would have had it in black, but this color cool, I guess. Um, I just really don't see myself wearing this outside the house, though. So, um, I don't know. I'm going to see what my massage therapist say tomorrow. But this is pretty cool, I guess. Um, I guess maybe it'll loosen up over time because I just opened it out the pack and put it on. Um, so, it'll probably loosen up over time. But my body is bodying, y'all. Like. Yeah. Oh, I know it is one more thing I wanted to tell y'all. Before I go, um, I am still using the wedge pillow at night. I just, right at four weeks started uh sleeping in my bed because i told y'all we went to san antonio so i had no choice but to sleep in a bed so um and i did bring my wedge pillow to san antonio so um i slept in the bed so right at four weeks i've been in the bed but i'm still using that wedge pillow um i have been able to like lay on my side um not long couple minutes and then i just move right back to my back so this should make it easier for me um to sleep though like, it'll be more comfortable for me to sleep because with that wrap it rolls out like i showed y'all it rolls it digs into my side and that's what i'm happy about with having this faja is now i don't have to worry about that and i could definitely see myself getting a lot smaller and it's like i'm just looking at myself but yeah that's pretty much all the update that i have for today uh tomorrow i'll see about the tape and that'll just be in my next update for y'all thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share and like always i'll see you in the next one